Did you see that? That was crazy. Yo, what's up, y'all? JV here, back at it with another training tutorial. And today's tutorial, we'll be talking about how do you edit interviews. So this is part two. If you didn't get to see part one, make sure you go back and watch that where we talked about how do you edit highlight reels. But in today's video, we're gonna be breaking down interviews, basic skills that you need, everything that you need to know to edit an interview. So stay tuned, let's get into it. All right, let's get it. So if you watch the last video, I put a lot of emphasis on one key rule, one theory. Make sure that whenever you're creating content, you shoot to edit. I'm gonna keep pushing that theory. And to reiterate, this simply means just have a vision of what you want your final video to look like before creating it. So that while you're creating it, you take all the necessary steps in order to make your video to exactly what you want it to be. So for interviews, these videos are typically longer form videos. They're not typically reels. They can be a reel, but for training purposes, I'm gonna make this a horizontal video just so you guys can see how to do it. And because I know I'm gonna make it horizontal, I'm going to shoot it in horizontal. So I'm gonna pull up Final Cut for you guys to see. So I already showed everybody how to import a clip if you watched the last tutorial. Now, you know, we just wanna get straight into the project. I already have my clips imported. So you wanna start a new project call it interview and notice how it's on vertical. So you just want to put it to 1080 HD. So typically with Instagram, the resolution is 1080, 1350. That is kind of like the best look for Instagram. At the end of the video, I will actually convert it to 1080, 1350 so that it's a better look. But for now, We'll keep it at where it's at, and then you'll see the difference at the end. All right, so now that we have our project created, we want to then drag our clips into the timeline. So I know that I'm going to be using this clip. Gretchen's interview. So boom, this actually pops up sometimes on the screen, and this happens when you, you record in a certain format, and Final Cut actually has to adjust to the format that you recorded in. So whenever this pops up, all you have to do is press OK. And basically what, is it, what it's saying is that you have to apply the HDR tools. Basically it's gonna make the clip look like how it was in your camera. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Because notice how right now it's just very blown out and bright. So all you do is you go to your effects tab, which is right here, type HDR, you drag in HDR tools on it, boom. And now you see it goes kind of back to normal, but you're not done yet. You actually want to go to the mode and then you want to select HLG to PQ. And you notice how it gives that dynamic shot. And you, yep. uh, you guys are right back at right back at it uh, Sunday against the uh, District of Columbia. Uh, what do you guys need to do to uh, keep this momentum so, going for the game on? Interviews are typically, you know, easy to set up as well. So I'm gonna actually show you the final clip from the template as to how it's supposed to look. And with that, I'm gonna use Mason's interview with Ryan Salzberg. Hey, what's up, Wildcat Radio? We're here with Ryan Salzberg, men's basketball team. Ryan, you had a great game tonight, just all over the stat block. How did you feel your performance went? Yeah, I thought as a team we played well. I think I also played well. I just wanted to come out, start on defense, just get my teammates involved and stuff like that, and then I knew my offense was going to come after that. Yeah, that's basically it. Now, during the game, you had this crazy pass behind the head, man. Like, talk me through that. What's like, what goes through your head like yeah, that? So, no, obviously, you know, Cisco sets good screens. So I just came off the screen and I saw his man stepped up. And so I just, I don't know, I thought the only way I could throw was behind the head. So then I just threw it. He ended up being right there and it worked out uh, perfectly. So it's a good play. Now, you guys are playing DC on uh, Sunday. Mm -hmm. 
You guys planning on coming out, keeping that win streak going? Yeah, we're definitely planning on getting the W. They got some talented kids on their team, so it should be a good game. But if we come out ready to play, we'll take care of business. So It's Ryan Salzberg, men's basketball. So pretty simple. Again, a minute interview, not too long. So first step. You want to find your clip, so let's go back to our project that we was working on. So let me see. So I would drag in Mason's clip. Boom. And notice it's doing the HDR tools thing again. Remember what we talked about? Just drag that in there. HLC to PQ. Boom. Now we got the regular clip. Perfect. Now. With our videos, with our interviews, we typically we put a Damon replay in there to make it look nice. What's up, Wildcat Radio? Maybe trim it up a little bit. So another tip, whenever you want to zoom in on the project, you press Command plus sign and it zooms in so that you could kind of get up in there and see exactly what you want to see. What's up, Wildcat Radio? We're here with Ryan Salzberg, men's Boom. basketball team. Zoom in and zoom Ryan. out. Command plus sign is zoom in. Command minus sign is zoom out. So we're there here with we Ryan Salzberg, that. men's basketball team. Ryan, you had a great game tonight. <laughs> so next step, you want to add a title. So the titles are located in this upper left corner tab. And there's a bunch of titles that you can pick from. Typically, we like to use the basic lower third title. Pretty simple. You add the name and the description. So his name is Ryan Salzberg. Description is usually like men's basketball. You got that in there. Perfect. And again, there's a whole bunch of options when it comes to titles. You could kind of get crafty with it. I could show you in the example. So we have this title, but we also have this title. So you could get creative, you could get fancy. This title is called Lower third with a logo. Lower third basic with logo. So if you wanted that on there, you drag it on there. And have the same thing. Pretty much copy and paste. If you ever want to mute basically a, a clip, you press a V on the keyboard. Another tip, another shortcut. V mutes the clip so that you could kind of block it from your timeline. So I wanted to copy his name to this one. Boom. Boom. Then once you get this, you could kind of, you know, play with the size a little bit. If you actually highlight the top name, you can make one name larger like that, make it smaller, play around with it, make it look nice. And then with this logo thing, you can actually, <clears throat> so you open up this tab right here and then you click on the import button right here. It says select the clip that you want to import. So the logo, again, if you ever want access to any of the Wildcat Media um, files, logos and stuff, you find them all in the share drive. Logos and everything is in here. But since you already imported it, it should already be in your Final Cut library. So you click on it and notice how it appears there. Apply clip. So now you have it here. Just simple. Get creative, get crafty with it. 
So now, boom, we can use this one. What's up, Wildcat Radio? We're here with Ryan Salzberg, men's basketball team. Ryan, you had a great game tonight. Just all over the stat block. How did you feel your performance went? Yeah, I thought... And honestly, almost done. Again, if you watched the last training tutorial, I showed you how to add the original logo in there as well. Click and drag. Constantly change over the colors. Transform it to how you want it. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm gonna just copy and paste the one that I already used. So that's another thing. Don't make your life harder. If you already created the, the logo, you can always use it multiple times. Just copy and paste it from the last project. Boom, copy and paste. So now it's in this project. Just all over the stat block. How did you feel your performance went? Yeah, I thought as a team we played well. I think I also played well. And then last tip, notice how it kind of fades in. Team we played well. I think I also played all that is is a transition tool so you go to the transition tab and then the fade one is usually cross dissolve and you just drag it in on top of it so let me actually take this off so you see it this is how it looked before kind of just came in strong as a team we play well i think i also play well but now when you add in the transition we well. Comes in smooth. Play. You add one to the end. Salzburg men's basketball. You can also add one to the end of the clip as well. So, just simple things like that just make the video look way better. And honestly, from here you're pretty much done with the done with the interview. So, if you recall, I mentioned in the beginning of the video that typically with Instagram you want to export it with certain resolution. And with, with, with Instagram, that resolution is 1080, 1350. So you could keep it like this, but for a better look, as a tip and suggestion, this is what you want to have your video look like. Hey, what's up, Wildcat Radio? We're here with Ryan Salzberg, men's basketball team. Ryan, you had a great game tonight. Just all over the stat block. How did you feel your performance went? Yeah, I thought as a team we played well. I think I also played well. Just wanted to come out, start on defense, just get my teammates involved and stuff like that. And then I knew my offense was going to come after that. Yeah, that's basically it. Now, during the game, you had this crazy pass behind the head, man. Like, talk me through that. What's like, what goes through your head like yeah, that? So no, obviously, you know, Cisco sets good screen. So I want you to pay attention to how it's sliding back and forth. That's what you call keyframes. So typically, when you conform the video to 1080, 1350, it cuts it off a little bit just so that it can fit into Instagram. Because of this, you want to actually use keyframes to get both of the subjects in the image. So that's why I'm sliding back and forth. So let me take you through how that works. So. This was what we created. Boom, so to get it to look nice for Instagram, you first wanna duplicate project as interview. I'm gonna just call it interview Instagram. Boom. You wanna to go to custom and then you wanna to go to 1080, 1350 because that is the dimensions, the resolutions that you use for Instagram. And you wanna click on smart to conform. So this is gonna automatically conform it to what you need it to be. Then you wanna press okay. So then it's gonna analyze the clips. Might take a second. So now you have it right here. So. Obviously, you're going to have to change around just the sizing of some of these things. Make it smaller so that it could fit. Boom, just like that. The logo as well. Just want to make it a little smaller. Put it somewhere nice. Um, honestly, yeah, you could just even use this logo that we had here as well. 
It's already a nice fit. <clears throat> so. Video over here with Ryan Salzberg, men's basketball team. Ryan, you had a great. Defense. It's still rendering right now, so it's going to be a little laggy, but I'm gonna play it for you. This is how it looks right now with no keyframes. Yeah, I thought as a team we played well. I think I also played well. I just wanted to come out, start on defense, just get my teammates involved and stuff like that. And then I knew my offense was gonna come after that. Yeah, that's basically it. Now during the game. So yeah, notice how crazy. there's no that's sliding going on. Like, going on. Through that. You can't like, really see Mason. Like that. Obviously, you know Cisco sets good screens, so I just came off the screen. And I saw his man stepped up, and so I just, I don't know, I thought the only way I could throw was behind the head, so then I just threw it. He ended up being right there, and it worked out uh, perfectly. So, it's a good play. Now, you guys are playing DC See, can't see him. Sunday. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna add keyframes, right? So you right click on the clip, you go to show video animation, you go to transform, you go to this tab right here, and then you go to position, right? So keyframes are pretty simple. Whenever you want to add a keyframe, you always want to select two points. So your start point and your end point, right? So for every time that I want to move it, you have to have two points. You have to have a start point and an end point. So clearly, I want to start it. I want to go back to Mason at this point. So my start point is at Ryan. Boom. You hold down option. This is a shortcut. You hold down option on the keyboard, which brings up the keyframe. And then you just make the point right here. And then you want to click on your arrow key to move it a couple frames over. Just click it. And then you can actually just go over here to this tab and move it. Slide it over just like that. Just slide it over. So now Mason is in the frame. So let's see how this looks. Now during the game, smooth. This crazy pass by very man, smooth, man, very like, smooth. Talk me through that. What's like, what goes through your head like that? No, obviously. So again, start point, Mason, move it over some frames, drag it right back over to Ryan, boom. Let's see how that looks. Smooth. It's pretty simple. It's pretty simple, pretty simple. And then for the last one, Start point, boom, move it over some frames. And I'm pressing my arrow key, just to remind y'all. And then you drag it right over back to Mason, boom. See you on uh, Sunday. You guys planning on coming on, keeping that win streak going? Another one, last one. Option, boom. Move it over some frames. Always just drag it to where you want it to. Boom. So let's see how that looks. Yeah, when's she going? Yeah, we're definitely playing on getting the W. They got some talented kids on their team, so it should be a good game. But if we come out. Right Pretty simple, y'all. Nothing too crazy. Ryan Salzberg, men's basketball. And just like that, you got your interview finished. So again, you can add some transitions at the end. Boom. And that's pretty much it. So then you wanna go here, go to export, and then you all set, man. Desktop, boom. And then once your video is finished exporting, you go ahead and upload to Instagram. Wait, one more thing. Bonus tip. If you want your videos to stand out, you might have to add some highlight clips on top of the interview. So let me show y'all how to do that real quick. So 
go to your downloads. I already downloaded the video, or if you imported it, obviously, but I'm gonna just drag it in the final cut like this. These are some of the highlights that we have here from this play HDR clip. If y'all recall from the last tutorial, anytime this pops up, all you do is add a HDR tool effect onto it. Oops, and a transition tab, wrong tab. HDR tools, boom. It goes right to where it needs to be valid. So now we have the clips that we want. Let me just change that up real quick. Tell G to PQ, boom. So notice how he was describing the play and this is the actual footage of the play. So what we're gonna do is add that in to the scene. So crazy pass behind the head, man. Like crazy pass behind the head. I talking to Boom. Now, during the game, you had this crazy pass behind the head, man. Like, talk me through that. What's like, what goes through your head? So, just like that, honestly, you could just kind of scale it up just like that to fill up the screen if you want. Uh, during the game, you had this crazy pass behind the head, man. Like, talk me through that. What's like, what goes through your head? You could just turn down the volume even if you want. You don't gotta turn it all the way down, maybe. Now, during the game, you had this crazy pass behind the head, man. Like, talk me through that. What's like, what goes through your head like that? Then you just trim it up to where you like it. What's through your head like that? So, no, obviously, you know, Cisco sets good screen, so I just came off the screen and I saw his man stepped up, and so I just, I don't know, I thought the only way I could throw was behind the head, so then I just threw it. He ended up being right there, and it worked out uh, perfectly, so it's a good play. Now, you guys are playing DC on uh, Sunday. You guys planning on coming on? Keep me So, yep. That is, honestly, we don't need this last clip. This was actually pretty good. Talk me through that. What's like, what goes through your head like that? You know, obviously, you know, Cisco sets good screen. Yep, and that's the bonus tip for y'all, yo. So again, thank you for watching. This was part two. Stay tuned for part three, where I'll be talking about how to edit a social reel. Catch you later.